Please remain standing for the invocation to be led by the PMC Command Chaplain. We ask you, Father, to be with us in this combined training exercise. I welcome you all to the opening ceremony of MASA 24. May this exercise be a resounding success and may our collective e efforts contribute to a more secure and stable future. Maraming salamat. The Philippine Marine Corps and the United States Marine Corps have long-standing tradition of partnership. Together, we will demonstrate our shared commitment to maintaining peace, stability, and security in the region. Your support and presence underscore the importance of this exercise and highlight the unity and cooperation that exists among our armed forces. May I request Colonel Stuart W. Glenn, United States Marine Corps, Commanding Officer, 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. Good afternoon. On behalf of Lieutenant General Michael Cedarholm, the Commanding General of 1 Marine Expeditionary Force, Brigadier General Robert Brody, Commanding General 1 MEF Forward, Sergeant Major Elena Rodriguez, Sergeant Major 1 MEF Forward, it is my honor and privilege to represent 1 MEF at the opening ceremony of Marine Aviation Support Activity 2024. The significance of this exercise cannot be overstated. It's important to remember that we've been exercising together shoulder to shoulder in the past, we are exercising together today, and we will be exercising together in the future to ensure our shared commitment to peace and security. Together we will grow our ability to defend our countries and our countrymen against aggressors, as well as to aid them during times of humanitarian disasters or crises. Our participation in MASA 24 serves as a testament to the exercise's importance and the enduring ironclad alliance that our nations share. MASA 24 will unquestionably strengthen our collective defense and our personal bonds. So let us use this exercise to strengthen our military-to-military -military ties, reinforce our alliance, and foster a greater appreciation of each other's culture and way of life. Let us continue to exchange knowledge and experiences between our service members, and let us build new friendships, friendships that will endure long after MASA concludes. Thank you for being such amazing hosts, welcoming us with open arms, and extending your world-class Philippine hospitality. We are eager to execute MASA 2024 alongside of you. May our shared commitments to freedom, peace, and security continue to bond us and our great republics. Karangulon, Katungkulon, Kapayanihan, and Superfidelius. I hereby declare the Marine Aviation Support Activity or MASA 2024 open effective this day. We request the Deputy Commandant Philippine Marine Corps, the Assistant Director of the Exercise Directorate Headquarters, and the Commanding Officer, 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. representation of our shared determination. We are united not just by appearance today, but also in our strong desire to ensure the safety and stability of Asia-Pacific region. Characterized by its dynamic nature, our region faces several challenges posed by potential man-made and natural disasters. We warmly welcome our American counterparts not only as visitors, but as our highly esteemed, dependable allies. We challenge you to the maximum, assess your abilities, and compel you to come up with new ideas. It is just crucial to recall the solemn pledge you made to dutifully serve our country with integrity, bravery, and devotion. Maboy sa tatang lakas ng Pilipinas, Semper Fidelis.
May you always be our hope and our salvation as we aim for a well-trained, disciplined. Of course, uh, we be the stage uh, starts from the right, right moves with a very glance forward. Good afternoon. On behalf of Lieutenant General Michael Sierra, I would like to extend my gratitude to the Mazda 24 ex Exercise Director, Brigadier General Romeo Riccadio, Deputy Commandant of the Philippine Marine Corps. During Mazda 24, Philippine and American Marines and service members will be working side by side, advancing our aviation capabilities together to learn from one another our shared experiences, to bond over our shared values, and to make some new friends. Our participation in Mazda 24 serves as a testament to the exercise's importance and the enduring ironclad alliance that our nation share. May our shared commitments to freedom, peace, and security continue to bond us and our great republics. Karakulon, Katukulon, and Super Fidelis. Thank you. I hereby declare the Marine Aviation Support Activity for MASA 2024 open effective this day. Thank you. Good afternoon. We are here for MASA 24 PressCon. So, to start, our leaders in front will introduce their names and their designation. Sir. I'll go first. I'm Brigadier Gen General Romeo Tonel Racadio, a member of the Philippine Marine Corps. I am the Deputy Commandant of the organization. At this time, I, uh, I was designated as the Director of Exercise director, Directorate Headquarters, meaning the Command and Control. I also represent the Commandant today uh, because he is on official travel. So um, uh, I, 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 uh, I would like it to be, as, uh, to be uh, identified as the Director Exercise Directorate. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. My name is Colonel Stuart Glenn. I am the commanding officer of the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. Uh, but just like General Ricadio, for this exercise, I'm actually the U.S. Deputy Director. Um, and we will also bring out Brigadier General Robert Brody, United States Marine Corps, in a few days. And he will be the counterpart for General Ricadio. So I am sitting in now for, for really Brigadier General Brody. Sir, good afternoon. Uh, John Eric Mendoza from uh, Inquirer. Uh, sir, we saw in your release that uh, there will be a live fire exercise in Ilocos Norte. Uh, may we clarify uh, when it will be held? Uh, what date, sir? Yes, that's true. Uh, I can confirm on that. It's part of the uh, events of the, this MASA exercise. We will have a uh, live fire exercise in uh, Camp Buyador in Locos Norte. That is a designated place for our, one of our Marine Brigade, Fort Marine Brigade. So we will do the exercise inside the brigade. We will use uh, artillery, artillery weapons. Uh, it will be held on uh, June 15 to 16. Sir, what, Thank about, you. what about Batanes, sir? Uh, is there a live fire exercise? No, no more. No. The, the only um, live fire for this exercise is uh, uh, in Camp Buyador. Sir, good afternoon. May I ask, sir, uh, what do you expect will be the highlight for this year's MASA and how, the, how this year's iteration, iteration will be different from uh, the past uh, exercises that we had? Thank you for the question. Um, 
regarding your first question, I think one of the highlights for the United States Marine Corps, first off, is just working with our partners in the Philippines. is always a highlight for the Marines to come here and to spend time with the Filipinos. There's a lot of ties, both from our families, shared values, uh, and quite frankly, just the hospitality um, of the Philippines is remarkable. I think one of the highlights of the exercise for us is, is we're working on gaining and achieving better what we call air domain awareness. And so the Marine Corps has had a force design where we're focusing more on understanding what's in the air above us. So we have some new technologies and some new capabilities alongside with the Filip Filipino Marine Corps and the Filipino Armed Forces to understand what's in the air, to better control aviation assets as well. So a lot of folks think of aviation of a guy or a lady in a cockpit flying an aircraft. That's the, that's the fun stuff, you know, Top Gun with Tom Cruise. But it's really the stuff of how do you support the aviation on the ground with arming and refueling? How do you route aircraft? All of those techniques and procedures, we work side by side with the Filipino Marine Corps, the Armed Forces of the Philippines. So it's not just the, the you know, jet, the F-35 or the F-850 that's flying, that looks great, but it's all the support that goes behind that that really is what we'll work on, I think, and really can advance together side by side with the Philippines. So that's kind of the highlight for us and some of the stuff that we're trying to get out of this exercise with our partners. Sir, can you please tell us more about the Coastal Defense Regiment, the maritime uh, key terrain security drills that will be conducted in Ilocos Norte? Um, what are we expecting from this uh, particular exercise, sir? Coastal Defense Regiment? Yeah, the maritime key terrain security operations, sir, in Ilocos Norte. Ah, OK. Uh, it's related to my answer, the first question, to the first question, in the first question. So. <laughs> Uh, we, we defined our territorial uh, defense, and so we considered uh, the one in the north is also vulnerable because of it is considered um, international passage. Um, it is considered um, a, a, a terrain that has historical footnotes during. Uh, uh, the previous uh, conflicts we experienced. And so it's just, it is just um, uh, right for us to consider this terrain. And so uh, our, our goal actually is to be, for, for us to be able to put a capability that can support and defend our territory. So let's, uh, uh, I would like to clarify that this is all about how to defend the Philippines. So we, we took note of key terrain and maximize its advantages and also maximize the use of technologies and new assets so that we can uh, really put into use these uh, key terrains uh, for its uh, right purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending.